Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and this is the second video about the Betaflight, INAF and Imuflight comparison. If you haven't seen the first, one, the first video of the series, the one when I show you the flight footage on the same drone, from recorded on the same day between those three flight controllers on just some random 5-inch multi-rotor quadcopter drone, then I really suggest you to go to that video and to see carefully and analyze everything I said back then. Because here, right now, in this video, I will only tell you which of those three flight controllers, with exact version numbers by the way, did the best. Okay, so if you haven't seen the first video, go back. If you have seen the video and you really want to know which one is the best, at least which one was the best on those conditions, now let's take a short break of like 30 seconds of blank screen so you are really 100% sure that you want to know the results and those results will not make your day, I don't know, will not shake grounds of your entity. And so those are the results after 30 seconds of a blank screen. And here are the results. Before, I will give you the results, some very important details. The hardware specification of the quadcopter quad I used for the test is in the description. So you, if you really want to, you can check exactly what I used to make the test. And if we are talking about the exact versions of the flight controller, on defaults, I made absolutely no tuning attempts in all three cases, is as follows. In all three cases, those were the latest official releases. Not some unofficial compiled somewhere marked as not stable or whatever. No, the latest official releases. For the beta flight, it was 4.1.4. For INAV, it was INAV 2.4. And for IMO flight, unfortunately, it was 0.1.0. .0. Yes, I know that IMU flight was kind of hurt and when I talked to the IMU flight guys, I said them sorry guys, but those were the, um, the conditions I took the latest official. Although I know that you have this strange that you are not releasing official because everything is up. I know that there was a penalty on the IMU flight because I really used the very ancient version of the flight controllers. Still, that those were the rules and I just used the latest official without absolutely any tuning. And the results are... The video number one is Betaflight, the video number two is Imuflight and video number three is, of course, INAF. This means that, yes, probably right now the best out-of-the-box flight controller software for 5-inch racing freestyle drones is Betaflight. Yes, comparing of those three, Betaflight really performed the best. It, was, it had the best uh, filtering, the best setup tunes. It just felt great in the air. On the other hand, INAF, uh, something was not really as well with the filtering as in case of the beta flight. Yes, in, everything was controllable. It was really handling nicely in the air. The prop wash was, let's say, controllable. It was not a disaster. It was more or less fine. However, something was getting through the filters and on default CS, yes, it kind of required some tuning to the filters, probably maybe lowering something, maybe something rising, it missed this like 20% of the performance that Betaflight was offering out of the box. 
I'm not saying that this is a huge difference, but there was a difference, the difference I was able to feel behind the stick, especially in the filtering phase, because from time to time on the full throttle, it was going into, even the oscillation was audible from time to time. Unfortunately, uh, the Emu flight in this, this particular version did the worst. Mm, it's not that it was not controllable, because it was kind of locked in and everything was more or less fine if the control of the of the drone was in place however there were two elements on the flight that really like no uh, first of all it was the audible oscillation was all the time no matter how high the throttle was you, you was just able to hear the uh, everything vibrating in the air because a lot of vibrations were going through the filters and unfortunately also the prop wash was really the worst of, of those three. Uh, Betaflight had some prop wash, iNav had slightly more prop wash, Emu Flight had just terrible prop wash that was... Um, I don't want to say uncontrollable, but uh, even in not very hard conditions for the prop wash, the prop wash was uh, appearing, even uh, it was, uh, it, I was able to feel something happening wrong in a tight turn. So definitely not the very pleasurable experience flying the Imu Flight 0.1.0. I know, I know that the more recent releases of the Imu Flight are better and I will try to verify this one more time. So. Those are the results. Yes, Betaflight probably is the best. Um, INAF is uh, quite uh, close behind and uh, Emu Flight still have some things to improve. Now, why haven't I checked the other flight controllers? Because I don't have the hardware. I cannot flash the Falco, Race, whatever there is uh, right now because I do not have compatible flight controllers and I don't want to get them, uh, at least for my own money and everything else on the market is probably more or less dead already. So, so that's all for today. Those are the results and I learned my lesson. I have to make enough fly better now, right? Right. So, until the next one. Bye-bye.